Hey, good day, everybody. Hey, this is JD Cage, and it's that time again. And this is BYU episode 18. And 18 happens to be my favorite number for personal reasons. And one of those reasons is that this is going to be a damn good show this week. And I'm telling you, dude, I'm telling you, this is going to be huge. So let's let's not waste any more time talking about it. Let's get on. Let's get it on with our first contest. I believe this is for a spot for the upcoming read the lottery. And here comes Brian Mooney. I'll tell you what, we got an exciting night of action up ahead. So I'm looking forward, looking forward to her to Helmsley Vincent too, I'm telling you, that's a number one contenders match. We'll get to that later. As we see Brian Mooney entering the ring. It, it seems to me, from my reports, that he's taken on, uh, we've been seeing a lot of these lately. A newcomer to BYU? Oh, and this guy, the Black Ninja? <laughs> I believe this guy's from Japan, and, well, Alright, you know what? I'm gonna call it right now! Ow. Oh, this guy looks to me like a bad ripoff of the main character from my old game, Ninja Gaiden! <laughs> there, I said it! I mean, look at the way he's moving at the moment! He's moving with robotic like he's 8-bit! I certainly hope he doesn't end up like that! Okay, there's the bell! And this ninja guy already hitting off a clothesline! Drops the elbow! Now he's got him in like a uh, butterfly lock or something like that. Already responded. And I gotta be... Ah, uh, Brian Mooney hitting the drop kick. I was about to say right there for a newcomer, this ninja. You know, already, already had the advantage early on. But you see, Brian Mooney... There's a victory roll. I think he can have him right here. Yeah. No. One count. It's going to take a lot more than that. Scoop slam by Black Ninja. Shoots Mooney off the ropes. Flapjack. <laughs> Man, he's... He was just stretching him out like a pretzel right there. And now you see a sidekick. Into a tilt the world hits. Ninja's going up. Beautifully executed Senton Bomb. And he, Well, he looked like he was going for a cover there, but I think he changed his mind as he shoots Mooney outside. And wait a minute. Ah, oh, damn! Nice course through maneuver over the top rope into the barricade. And he's just telling him, get off, get off. Sends Brian Mooney back into the ring. Somersault. A slingshot body slash. And watch him hook the arm. Nice kick there, and I gotta be impressed with this guy. He's been very methodical. He's not making a lot of mistakes. Back to the well with that flapjack. I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, he's stretching him out again. I mean, I know sometimes newcomers have a tendency to be just that impressive, but something's not right here. Here, as Brian Mooney just telegraphs that senton and plants his face right in the canvas. Advantage falls back to Brian Mooney. Nicely done with the Horikon Rai. It could be all over, but no. He just brings him down. Drop kick. Now you see him, and again, he resorts to the Hurricane Rana. One, two! But the official only tolls two. And now he's going up. Well, that was kind of careless. 
I mean, it was obvious he was going to telegraph that flying body press and... Ah! He just shot Green Mist in his friggin' face! Hey, is that, what a friggin' kick in the head right there! Was that even to be allowed? I mean, where does it say you can use Green Mist in this bed? And he just saved him! What the hell? Oh. This guy! This guy just picked up the friggin' pinfall over Brian Mooney! What the hell just happened? I mean, he had to use friggin' Green Mist in the face to do it! 